Folks in Bemidji may have noticed a giant tent popping up at Mount Zion Church. That's because Revive Minnesota is officially in town. Revive Minnesota's purpose is to bring all people together, no matter their religion. They focus on four main words when teaching people about faith. And those words are love, listen, discern, and respond. People come to the tent to receive the word, then they leave the tent, and they're encouraged to spread the word by talking about faith and simply loving everyone in the community. Yeah, and I think what's really special about this outreach is it's not just one flavor. We all know there's lots of different types of churches and denominations, and we really have everybody represented here. Yeah, we do. Um, so, which is awesome because that's not normal, is it? Uh, but it says in the book of John 17, 23, it, uh, Jesus talks about unity and how it brings him glory and how he, he's really honored by that. So, um, so we're just excited to see the whole church coming together. Revive Minnesota will be in Bemidji all week through next Wednesday. Prayer starts every morning at 8 in the morning. Then the group will go out into the streets and spread the message of Jesus Christ. There will also be a free community meal that's happening Saturday night at Mount Zion Church. Anyone is welcome to come to I any and all the events. The goal of ours is to see transformation happen. Uh, we're aware of the, uh, the addiction that's plaguing in our community, the human trafficking, the, the, the separation of families. We're aware of all of that. And so we believe that the church coming together can find solutions for all of that. And, and uh, so part of why we're coming together is because we want to see Bemidji uh, transformed. We want to see Northern Minnesota transformed for the glory of God. And Revive Minnesota will also be visiting other churches in the area through the week. We'll have a link to their complete schedule with our story on lptv.org news. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.